hello and welcome back to the show. Uh, today we're going to be talking about some anime and comics. You know, uh, we talk about other things like TV shows, movies, games, and all kinds of other things. But today we're going to be unfortunately talking about anime. Yeah, I know. Uh, anime, anime, anime. I love anime. I love comics. I love anime. So that's why I like to talk about things. And, uh, you know, I this is not a... I don't know. I, I love time travel uh, anything. I like t time travel movies, TV shows, and, uh, you know, superheroes like Flash. And I I'm just mystified and just love, like, uh, movies like The Time Machine and, you know, just time travel in general. You know, even the old book, you know, H.G. Uh, Wells, you know, The Time Machine. You know, it, it just – I like time travel. Star Trek, you know, I, I, all those episodes was, you know, that they had that featured time travel. And each one of the series, they had some kind of a bunch of time travel episodes. I, I've always enjoyed time travel. And I, in the various animes that involved uh, time travel, you know, all the way from Dragon Ball Z to uh, – uh, there's been a bunch, you know, I just, uh, really enjoy that subject matter. The, this anime called Reride, uh, Dorada, who's, who leaps through time is a really good anime. I was really impressed with this and, uh, it's basically, uh, features this young engineer named Dorada basically comes up with this, um, uh, what they, um, uh, you know, this way to time travel. I don't want to ruin too much. He theorizes a way to uh, that time travel might be possible, which ironically has nothing to do with the main storyline. Which ironically, even though he came up with the concept for time travel, he uh, this is not ruining anything. I'm gonna try not to have any spoilers. Uh, I just want to interest you in watching this anime. He uh, he basically uh, does very little time traveling in the episode. It's like other characters use the, the concept he come up with. It's, uh, it's, it's really well done. It's, uh, and it's one of those that keeps you on the edge of your seat. Um, it's, uh, ironically, this one's already, you know, aired, uh, it threw out a bunch of episodes, uh, like in a block and, um, is already finished. Um, it's 12 episode, you know, arc, um, ahead of like the other animes that started out this, uh, season with. It's, uh, which is fine. I, I like watching it. It almost had like a Netflix type feel to it. Like you, you could binge watch them there for a while. And then all of a sudden it, could, it went to like a, uh, like a weekly thing. And now uh, it's already finished. It's already wrapped up. It's only 12 episodes. And if you really want a good anime with really cool characters, I like, especially like the character called Donna, even though she's nuts as a bag of squirrels. I mean, she is, uh, she's a messed up character, <laughs> but, uh, her episode is really fun. Uh, I even like the cute little character, the, uh, her, and I cannot remember her name. Um, oh, Yuri. I like Yuri too. Uh, she's, uh, yeah, I don't want to ruin too much. It's, um, uh, Miyuka. Yeah, that was her name, the little girl. Um, and uh, by the way, the storyline between these two is really touching. It's uh, and by the way, this has a uh, since there's a lot of time travel involved, it has like a, it has a really cool ending. You know, it's uh, and it's not necessarily a happy ending, but it has a cool ending. It's a really interesting anime. I I don't think you'll be bored by watching this one. I, I enjoy the characters, uh, you know, I, especially, you know, this, they, they, the characters really play well off each other. I like to, you know, the Star Trek-y like future they live in, uh, you know, wherever machines do everything, you know, it's kind of, a, it kind of looks like a really cool world you want to live in that, you know, the robots and the, the technology do everything for you. And, uh, you know, everything's really technologically, you know, advanced in this future they live in. It, it's a really good anime. I highly recommend anyone to check it out. You know, uh, you can go check it out at Funimation. They have a uh, subbed and a dubbed version, if I remember right. It's, uh, you know, whichever one you want to watch, you can, you know, whichever one you feel more comfortable with. I personally like the subtitled, you know, the, and like to hear the original Japanese, you know, uh, voice artists. That's, that's just me personally, but sometimes the dub versions are okay. According to, you know, who the cast is and how well it's done, they've gotten better at it, you know, but I've not been a big fan of dubbing in the past. I don't mind dubbing. There's some, like I said, when it's done really well, it works, but you know, and sometimes I like the dubbing better in the American version than I do the, the Japanese version, you know, like, um, uh, there's been several titles, which, uh, most of them escape me at the minute. Um, I'm trying to think of something recent. Um, 
like Cowboy Bebop. That's the only thing I can think of at the minute. But, you know, like uh, where a dubbing was actually better than the original. Uh, the Japanese, let's put it that way. Anyway, uh, highly recommend Reride the uh, Dorita Who Leaps Through Time. Check it out. Anyway, that's all for now. I'll catch you next time. Please remember to subscribe. That's all. Catch you later.